<laughs> Harry, Matt, great to have you both here on The Safer. Today we're talking about mental health and well-being. Uh, so it's great to have you here. Now, mental health and well-being is something that we're all affected by, all that we have to think about. And, you know, you two as elite sports people, um, as footballers, you know, have to deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis. Matt, you were obviously at Wolves and then you came to Spurs. Uh, so tell us both about how you transitioned from going to just being, I guess, academy recruit uh, to playing for the mighty Tottenham Hotspur. When I signed, I went away on internationals, you know, so I was able to kind of prepare my mind, prepare my mind in the hotel for when I was coming back, um, just for the transition, um, just for the difference there would be in, in expectation. Um, and when I know I came back in, it was like it wasn't easy, you know. Everything was a lot, a lot harder. Um, you're expected to kind of, kind of win every game. Um, but I think the most important thing for me was to just keep focused. I have a great family behind me. Um, got two kids. You're, you're busy every day. Your kind of mind is kind keep of focused your toes. on that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and just I don't know, just kind of keep you grounded. You know, like every day when you go home, even if it was a tough day. Um, you've got another life, you know, you've got your kids and, and your family to take care of. Um, but look, I've obviously transitioned now and I feel totally comfortable here with, with the players that are here. And um, I can tell, look at the way you're sitting. You're like, I know, hey, I'm, I'm just very, very comfortable. Because <laughs> like you said, look at the place and uh, my family's moved down and that, so everything's all good at the moment. How important is it to have good support systems, you know, in your family, your coaches, even your mates, you know, like how important has that been? It's just been able to talk to people as well. Obviously everyone goes through different stages and different ups and downs along careers and, and life in general so um, yeah, just having family you can talk to about it or talk about other things if you're fed up of football yeah. you can talk about other stuff or obviously we both love golf so we end up talking about golf the majority of the time we're together and, um, I think it's really important just to have that, that switch off from um, from what is our everyday job you know playing football every day so um, but like I said coaches are, are massively important as well and I know a lot of coaches along the way helped me to, to get to where I am now. Especially at a young age when you're coming up, when you're playing in the professional scene, you know, you, you get some money and stuff like that. It's quite easy to get sucked into the kind of nightlife, I guess, also in London as well. It's a, it's a different draw, so um, I think it's important. Obviously, your family will always, you'd like to think, have your best interests at heart. Um, and, and your, your close friends will also. Um, it's just you've got to be careful of people trying to, trying to hang on and kind of suck you into Kind of wrong th the wrong things to do, so I think you just got to be be super careful. But that's like we said, that's where family will will come in and kind of save you if you've any problems. What tools have you had to use to kind of just even go through the stages of being, oh, you know, I'm an academy recruit, then play being a first team player, and then now being England captain and breaking all these records. I mean, I don't know even how you even keep count of them, but breaking all these records. How how have you transitioned? How have you? Used, what tools have you had to use? Um, yeah, the pressure gets gets bigger and bigger, but I guess. As you're going along that journey, you, you gain experience and you learn to cope with different situations better. But um, yeah, for sure, like Matt touched on there, I think having that separation away from football is so important, whether it's being with your family, whether it's playing golf with your mates or doing stuff, just to take your mind off of what is a, a high pressure job and um, not just in sport, but in, in any job in, in, in life, really, you definitely need that because it can be it can be hectic and uh, just, just a little bit, just yeah. a little bit hectic, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, and it's important to enjoy life as well and, and make the most of um, being young and, and taking um, yeah the most out of life that you can. So uh, I've tried to do that. I've tried to enjoy every moment and uh, ups and downs are part of life, part of football, and uh, you try and take it on the take it on the chin and keep moving forward. And I guess hard work is the most important thing for me. I've always been someone who's worked hard and. Yeah, whether things are done, good or bad, just that's the that's the basic and that's what you've got to carry on doing. It's important to kind of switch off from your everyday work. And obviously you guys are very busy with football. So tell me, how else do you like to switch off or how do you switch off from the game? Like I'll, I'll play golf mentally, the most challenging game, <laughs> I, I think as well. Um, it's just, yeah, obsession maybe, is that a strong word or is, is Pretty obsessed. Pretty obsessed. Oh. Like I, I love that game. <laughs> Uh, we'll like we'll do whatever it takes if we have like a we'll get up at 5 a.m. 4 a.m. whatever it is just to go and be ready like a, for the first tee off possible you know we'll do um do whatever it takes to, to try and get out there whenever we can so uh, yeah like it's just something different isn't it you know like, when you're there obviously golf is probably like, you're probably playing for four four hours or so and then yeah. four hours you're literally thinking about nothing else yeah. but golf and I think that's the 
that's the biggest joy of it, you know, you're not thinking about the pressures of your job or anything like that. You're just enjoying time with your friends, trying to beat the game of golf, which <laughs> yeah. is impossible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that thrill and that, uh, that competition as well of, of playing against each other and um, yeah, it just, it just brings, brings I think so you can, you can always try get better. That's why, you know, like you leave think, and you know that the next time you go, just, you can always try and shoot a better score, you know? just constantly stimulates the competitiveness in us. Play a big game, it's gone your way. Um, obviously everyone's screaming, Matt, Harry, ah. um, But even that is a lot to deal with, right? You know, hearing the people like screaming your name, the fans screaming your name. How do you then, once you've gone into the changing room, you've like taken off your kit, you've gone and like had a shower, then how do you, what's your process then in like unwinding and, uh, and just getting your mind prepared? Yeah, no, it's a really good question. I think uh, there's so much adrenaline going for the body, especially when you've had a, a great win and obviously everyone's buzzing in the change room. Uh, and I guess for me, there's like always like a moment kind of you're having a shower and then it all kind of sinks in. Uh, good and bad like games, it kind of, okay, you start processing uh, everything. And, um, and then, yeah, obviously we play most of the time every three, four days. So um, it's about enjoying it. I think it's really important to enjoy when you win, especially. Uh, and making the most of that because it's such a good feeling, it brings such a good energy to the team. Um, enjoying that moment as a team, enjoying it individually, uh, whether it's being on social media or texting your mates about it or talking about it. Um, and then I guess, yeah, the next day, um, it's kind of a time when I kind of start switching on to, to the next game now, obviously, we've got another important game. Uh, I've always been someone who says about not getting too high or too low, so uh, just about controlling the high and not getting too carried away knowing that you've got another another game in a, in a few days. And, um, yeah, just trying to switch on to that, really. Um, if you're a young player who's dealing with that like, injury, I guess, what tool would you suggest or what suggestion would you give them to, to kind of keep their mind in a stable place whilst like, working through that injury? Yeah, it's just about having that mindset that at any moment, especially in football, like you like just touched on there, you can get injured or something can happen, you can score an own goal or you can lose a game that you're supposed to win. Um, and you can't beat yourself up about it because you've got another game in three days, you need to be confident, you need to be ready for that. Um, and it's the same when, when you do, you might score a hatchery and be on top of the world, but um, yeah, just knowing that obviously things can change really quickly. So trying to stay in the moment, trying to do what's best for you at that moment in time, working really hard on the training pitch. Um, and then hopefully, yeah, you, you see results on a consistent basis. That's brilliant, brilliant. Perseverance, keeping knowing where you're at is brilliant. Thank you so much, guys. Brilliant to hear from you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you.